with the distribution of pressure that is the each hydrostatic force this one is f1 force f2 force f3 force f and is the sum of all these forces is this force so is the distribution of this force is non uniform if you want to find out the is the centroid of this force that is this distribution is it centroid is shifted somewhere here so we want to find out exactly this point so this is the force f is it resultant force so this one is resultant force f and will pass through this point this point is called as center of pressure and this center of pressure in projection will come somewhere here your objective is to find out center of pressure now and at the same time you want to know at what depth it will act from free surface that is you want to know this distance so this distance and we'll call this distance equals to what scp because once you know the force you are also interested the location of that force that is called as center of pressure the definition first is the center of pressure is that point through which the resultant hydrostatic force will pass resultant hydrostatic force is f it will pass through that point and will pass through that is it, is the centroid of the pressure distribution is the pressure distribution centroid initially we have pressure distribution here that is non uniform uska jo centroid hoga that is the center of pressure to locate the position of this point that is scp we will use the varangian principle of moment varangian's principle of moment according to this principle of moment it says that the sum of moment of all forces about some reference point a must equal to moment of resultant force about the same reference point this is done in mechanics now what is sum means is this force here is f1 force then we have f2 force then f3 force and you require a reference for this to take the reference for this what i will do is that i will take one axis like this axis which is perpendicular to this one and one axis i will take this one is overlap now huh? i will slightly show on this side is this is a plane only from this point to this point and one of the axis i will say x axis and one axis i am taking as y axis make sure your x axis and y axis is not constructed from this edge but is constructed from this point which is the extension of the plane your plane is up to this point only this one is a plane so what you do here instead of taking the moment about a i will take the moment about what x axis so i will taking the moment about x axis so if i want to take the moment about x axis then i will take this distance that is this force is this force is same as df force is this distance is measured along y axis is it a perpendicular to x axis so that is exactly what the definition of moment is moment is defined as force multiplied by perpendicular distance this force is your df force next time my ring will uh, element will come here i get next value so does it this value means that is the integration of df multiplied by distance is the sum of moment about which axis x axis is equal to moment of resultant is the resultant is this force and this is multiplied by f now i said this value equal to scp so what i'll do is that i will take this value equal to ycp if i able to solve this integral i can find out value of ycp once i know ycp value and if i know the angle theta can i calculate scp value that is the procedure okay check for this is this value is equal to h value and is the corresponding value equal to y value so this is h then this value is y and h h by y is sin theta i am writing here so sin theta is h by y if i say this distance is h bar that is the centroid distance i will say this is y bar so i will call h bar then i will call this is y bar so again can we have same relation that is h bar divided by and if i say this distance is scp can we say this distance is ycp so do you have same equation again so i will call this is equation 1 this one is equation 2 i will require this equation later on i will replace this df is this df is same as rho multiplied by g multiplied by h multiplied by da so first of all i will write down my f term on this side and then i will write down ycp and this is equals to integral df is replaced by rho multiplied by g multiplied by h multiplied by da and this is y so i will multiply by y multiplied by da now i want to find out ycp i already know the equation of f can i replace this y as 
y can i write as h by sin theta or can i write h equal to y sin theta either of this so i am not familiar with uh, if i write here y instead of y if i write h it will become h square so i am not familiar with that term but if i write integral of y square da is it nothing but moment of inertia of x axis since i know this term in mechanics it is better to replace h in terms of y so can we replace h in terms of y as a y sin theta so we have f is it multiplied by ycp is it equal to rho is constant outside g is constant outside h is going to be replaced by y multiplied by sin theta this is a replacement for h from this equation is it further multiplied by y multiplied by da now you take any depth y anywhere you go anywhere along the plane will the angle theta will change or is same so you can very well take out sin theta also outside and therefore we get f multiplied by y cp is equals to rho multiplied by g multiplied by sin theta is it term integral y square da remember y square da is ix and ix is here so you have to calculate moment of inertia about this axis not about this axis eh? so i will write this as f multiplied by y cp equals to rho multiplied by g multiplied by sin theta multiplied by ix whereas the difficulty for me is this that i know the standard moment of inertia about the centroidal axis which is passing through center of gravity and i don't know what is the moment of inertia about any axis but i am very well familiar with the axis xo and axis yo that is the centroidal axis and if i know the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis then i can very well calculate the moment of inertia about this axis by method of parallax so this perpendicular distance is this perpendicular distance is this perpendicular distance is y bar and therefore can i replace this ix equals to i xo plus area multiplied by y bar square quantity so my equation will become simple and everything about i know xo and yo so i will continue my problem is that fine so we have f multiplied by y cp is it equal to rho multiplied by g multiplied by sin theta multiplied by ix is it equal to i xo i am using xo for centroid number of people use g or c i am using xo plus area multiplied by perpendicular distance is it y bar square so we'll replace this f by equation number 1 which is rho g h bar multiplied by area this is f f equal to what rho multiplied by g is h bar multiplied by area is it multiplied by y cp equal to rho multiplied by g multiplied by sin theta is it multiplied by i xo plus area multiplied by y bar square so in that case is this rho and is this rho is cancel out is this g and is this g is also cancel out so there is no role of rho and g means is the center of gravity and the center of pressure are independent of liquid if you immerse the plate in oil or you immerse the plate in water or in mercury their calculation will not change they will remain as it is so let cancel this rho g and rho g so there is no role of rho g there is no role of rho g now what i do i will try to find out ycp once i know ycp am i able to find out scp so what we do will replace h bar can we replace h bar as y bar multiplied by sin theta so this h bar is it equal to h bar is it equal to y bar sin theta so this one is y bar multiplied by sin theta this is replacement for what h bar multiplied by area multiplied by ycp is equal to sin theta multiplied by ixo plus area multiplied by y bar square again sin theta will get cancel on both side and now we are ready for last equation that is ycp can we write ycp equals to i have to shift a and y bar on this side is it equal to ixo divided by is it area multiplied by y bar plus term is a y bar square divided by a y bar so is this term is y bar so is the distance between the cg and cp along this axis is ycp is ixo by a y bar moment of inertia is always positive quantity because it is square and area 
it is always positive y bar is positive so if this term is positive does it means that the cp will always lie below center of gravity finally we will replace ycp in terms of scp so is ycp is equal to scp by sin theta scp divided by sin theta equal to i xo upon area all y bar will be replaced by h bar by sin theta if i replace h bar sin theta will come in numerator y bar is h bar upon sin theta and my last step is scp this sin theta i will multiply right side is it equals to ixo sin theta into sin theta sin square theta is it divided by area multiplied by h bar this sin theta and this sin theta will cancel is it h bar so remember the last equation so in this discussion we have two equation equation number 1 and equation number 2 let investigate this effect of scp on the vertical plane first so let have a we have a free surface and let consider for simplicity that we have a rectangular plate like this and this rectangular plate is initially at this point so is the depth of immersion right now zero is the depth of immersion will go on increasing height is increasing depth of immersion is going on i will say this value is equal to d rectangle right? and this is d this one is d by 2 is it h bar value so let go on putting this so we are going for scp equals to h bar is it d by 2 i x o b d cube by 12 b d q by 12 angle theta is 90 sin theta is 1 no roll upon base area base multiplied by depth h bar is it d by 2 calculate this value you will get 2 by 3 is this gap from center of gravity to center of pressure is this gap right now is this distance so i am interested in that gap my question is that is this value is ixo right now plane is vertical so sin theta equal to 1 is this value is a h bar now this is the original distance between the center of gravity and center of pressure so i will shift my plane somewhere here so will the value of h bar will increase naturally it will increase if the value of h bar will increase my question is this for this figure and for this figure is area is same is ixo is same but is h bar is increase for this figure so is this whole value will decrease so what was the initial gap is there is this gap will decrease now because h bar has increased so my question is that if the depth increases is the center of pressure and the center of gravity come closer naturally i will claim if my depth become infinity if my depth become infinity then is this value are coincide so when it is infinity both will coincide second objective kya hamara jo difference hai e minus h bar is this difference is always equal to ixo multiplied by sin square theta divided by area multiplied by h bar moment of inertia is positive sin square theta is positive so is this term will always generate positive term positive term except or equal to term for theta equal to 0 this term will generate theta this term right hand side will generate 0 if theta equal to 0 for any other angle than theta do you have a positive value can we say that the center of pressure always lies below the center of gravity for all cases except the plane is horizontal and except horizontal it is always true this is general case so we will claim that cp always lies below center of below center of gravity except plane is horizontal force hamara jo bhi hoga is this force is always perpendicular to plane of paper is this force will always pass through center of pressure center of pressure is calculated like this 